it's time now for a look at latest in local news. In the news all this week is National Crimes Victims' Rights Week, and here at Wayne County a Memorial Wall has been set up in courtroom C at 266 Walnut Street, and today at 5.30 p.m., the public is invited to the Crime Victims Memorial Ceremony. Once again, this is a, lo- this is a nationwide event, the local ceremony put on by the local district attorney, Keith Higgins, and his office. Once again, the public invited to today's ceremony. It takes place today at 5.30 in courtroom C at 266 East Walnut Street. National Crime Victims' Rights Week was established in 1981 to provide an opportunity to raise awareness of victims' rights. This year, National Crime Victims' Rights Week will be commemorated during the week of April 24th through the 30th. D.A. Higgins and the employees of the District Attorney's Office Victim Witness Assistance Program encourage communities to embrace this year's theme, Rights, Access, Equity for All Victims. The theme underscores the importance of helping crime survivors find their justice by enforcing victims' rights expanding access to services and ensuring equity and inclusion for all. Can originally established by President Ronald Reagan, the project has grown in its efforts to educate communities about the effects of victimization and the needs for services for those affected by crime. Once again, the ceremony taking place today at 530 in courtroom C, located at 2660 Walnut Street here in Jessup. Reminder, this Saturday will be Amnesty Day in Wayne County. The city of Scriven in partnership with County Commissioner Kevin McCurry Hosting Amnesty Day, Saturday, April the 30th. Drop-off items between 8 a.m. and 12 noon. The drop-off sites are at Grace Community Center, park inside the city of Scriven, and besides the Wayne County Farmers Market here in Jessup. If unable to bring items to the locations, they should call Scriven City Hall at 579-2211 and inform them prior to April 28th to ensure pickup. If you have any questions about an item, call Scriven City Hall, the number 579 579- 2211. They'll have the trash trailers at, and row offs at both locations this Saturday. Once again, Amnesty Day this Saturday, April 30th from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Again, if you have any questions, <clears throat> simply call Scriven City Hall at 579 2211. Wayne County Board of Education meets on Tuesday at 6 p.m. on the agenda of the Good as Gold program. Dr. Burgess will recognize Wayne County High School's Good as Gold recipients. Melba Bennett Murphy Community Service Award will be presented. Migrant Education Program recognition as Dr. Burgess will recognize the Wayne County High School Migrant Education Program senior. On the agenda, the COVID update, the Capital Outlay Project update, discussion of Board of Education Professional Development. Lights at JC Stadium will be discussed as they discuss refurbishing and replacing lights at the stadium. Several board policies on the agenda, along with the financial management. R.J. Alders will present the March 2022 financials, budget considerations, Wayne County School System local supplement will be discussed. Also, an executive session. All that's set for this Tuesday, 6 p.m. at the Tech Center. We'll be back with more news after this word from our sponsor of the commercial messages. So please stay tuned. It's election year 2022. Today is the last day to register to vote if you want to be eligible to vote in the upcoming primary, which is set for May 24th. You can stop by the registrar's office today to get registered. Advanced voting will begin May 2nd, runs through Friday, May 20th. From 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., advanced voting will also be held on Saturday, May 7th, and Saturday, May 14th from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., all taking place at the Hall Richardson Recreation Center. We here at WIFOFM continue to talk with the candidates running for local and statewide office this week on the Bitch and Bob Show. Two more local candidates will join us. Tuesday in studio will be candidate for school board Kelvin Mock. He's running in District 2 along with incumbent Bruce Harris. Thursday this week in studio will be candidate for county commissioner in District 1 Brian Griffiths. He's running on the Republican ballot along with Mike Gordon and Stephen Jones, three candidates in that District 1 County Commissioner race. Other contested races, School Board District 5, incumbent Nick Ellis and candidate Tina Mosley. Todd Wise is unopposed in District 3. Incumbents Joe McPipkin and Sharon Daniel are unopposed in District 1 and 4 on the school board. On the County Council, District 2, incumbent Kevin McCurry is unopposed. District 3 has four candidates, Larry Brantley, Tim Hopkins, Corbett Nichols, and Morris Melvin. District 4 has incumbent James Thomas unopposed on the Democratic ballot. He has opposition on the Republican ballot as Fred Anderson, the only candidate on the Republican ballot. These two men square off in November. District 5 incumbent Kathy Keith running against opponent Jamie Hickox, both on the Republican ballot. That race will be decided on the primary date, May 24th. Once again, early voting begins May 2nd. The last day to register to vote again is today. The first of three scheduled debates between Governor Brian Kemp and David Perdue took place over the weekend on WSB TV in Atlanta. This Thursday, the second debate will take place in Savannah. It will be televised on WTOC. And the third debate will take place May 1st on Georgia Public TV. 
as the Atlanta Press Club will have their debate with the two candidates. Both candidates came out fast and furious, lagging in the polls. Purdue appealed to his base, continued to say the 2020 election was stolen from former President Donald Trump, despite not showing any evidence to back that claim. Purdue has Trump's endorsement, blamed Kemp for handing control of Washington to Democrats. Kemp fired back that Purdue was looking for a scapegoat for his own loss to Democrat John Ossoff, which helped shift control of the U.S. Senate to Democrats. Kemp says weak leaders blame everybody else for their own loss instead of themselves. The irony is that these two men used to be allies. Kemp reminded Purdue of that saying when we were riding on that bus and I was campa- when I was campaigning for you in the runoff with Ossoff, did you ever ask me about having a special session? No, you did not. Purdue again asked if he was in fear of dividing the GOP in the state, answered that the party was already divided. Again, the winner of this Republican primary will face off with Democratic candidate for Governor Stacey Abrams, and Kemp reminded the audience that he beat Stacey Abrams once, and he vows that he can do it again, saying, quote, I want to promise you that if you elect me as your nominee, I'll work every single day to make sure that Stacey Abrams is never your governor or your next president, end quote. Once again, the second debate set for this Thursday night in Savannah. It will be televised by WTOC. We'll be back with some final news notes after this word from our sponsor of the commercial messages, so please stay tuned. Final notes and news beginning May 2nd, and for a period of 90 days, Dixie Road over Boggy Creek Road will be closed, and there will be a detour right at that location. Southeastern Site Development doing work in the area. They want to let residents know that, once again, that road will be closed for approximately 90 days. Again, that's Dixie Road over Boggy Creek Road beginning May 2nd. Odom. Homecoming presenting Spring Outdoor Movie Night this Friday, April 29th, 8 p.m. at the Odom Train Depot. The movie is Hop. It's free to the public. They should bring your own chair, blanket, or golf cart. Concessions will be available for sale at the townhouse. The movie will start at dark this Friday, April 29th. And the Wayne County Fair coming to Wayne County on April 26th through the 30th. Tuesday through Thursday, 6 to 10. Friday and Saturday, 6 to 11. Mission price, $10 per person. Rides are included. It's sponsored by the Wayne County Board of Tourism. Heather Altman will be our special guest today on the Witch and Bob Show. Tell us all about the Wayne County Fair again, April 26th through the 30th. That's going to do it for the latest in local news. Sports comes your way in a few minutes. Bob Morgan said, Have a great day.